hello everyone so today we are going to add this uh, grass reaction system to the vehicles also now it will be reacting so here you can see now the grass is trampled by the wheels of the vehicle and it will leave a path along the way like this uh, it does vanish in some time but for a while the path stays and you will have parameters here to control how long the path would remain uh, and its accuracy so yeah this is what we are going to work on today okay so here we are using distance field, distance field to implement this uh, reaction system reaction uh, function for the grass and i have already worked on few components that i'm going to use in this tutorials they are already covered previously in this series which you can find in this unreal stylized rendering tutorial series so refer to previous episodes in case you don't remember things that we haven't have done up to this point that i'm going to reuse here and yeah as always you can find the project files of the full project here in my patreon page once you become a member you can access not just this project all thousands of things that i have done in my channel will be available for you and yeah now let's get started with today's episode right so this is what we have at the moment my character is reacting with grass and we have already implemented it in a way that it still reacts with these any other objects even if those objects don't have this trail uh blueprint attached to them but for the character i have the trail blueprint attached so that's why i can see this trampled path so yeah now we are going to use this with the vehicle all right so first of all let's import vehicles add feature or content pack vehicle and after adding enable missing we have enable chaos vehicle plugin otherwise the system will not work and enabled now i have to restart all right now let's switch to uh, that person vehicle what is missing but yeah let me just play okay it seems working i mean you can already see some reaction with the grass but i like to see the smaller car the off-road car use that yeah see you can see grass is being uh, reacting to the wheels but it's not very clear what's going on here let's pull back the camera a little bit this one back camera maybe yeah now it's better okay so directly beneath the car you can see grass is trampled uh, bent but as soon as the vehicle leaves the grass gets straightened up we don't have a trail so now let's use the bp trail for the wheels we road i like the first one to back right 
here and the next one to back left so it should be on the tire itself now so in case you did not remember we implemented yesterday this bp trail blueprint which uh, uh, which has a series of uh, static mesh components that simulates the trail of the vehicle in some a set of invisible static mesh components so with this now let's see how it looks see now we get some kind of a path but it's too short actually but that's better than what we had okay so maybe we should implement an option here to make the static meshes visible so here we can do this set the material we can index zero because we are using just simple spheres and here I'll do a select and add a boolean format to a variable show deep bug shapes if show debug shapes by default it should be false if it is true if it is false we should use a um, masked material which is the invisible material otherwise we can use this default material this one now for these two objects are uh, enable show debug shapes so don't worry about the way it shows up here but if you are worried you can it's it this now here if i play the game you can see the trail objects like this okay now I noticed those objects are also rotating that may not be needed okay the rotation happens because it is following the rotation of this uh, this child actor because the wheels are rotating so wheels are attached to these this will be yeah, these servants so what if i directly attach it to the mesh under the same socket this will be uh, let's try that the this is BR. Let's use the BL. No, not physics. We swear. And now let's see. Both are still rotating. okay so the sockets are rotating okay so in that case what we can do is instead of attaching it to a socket 
this is a mesh and it's not like these are moving much and so for the wheels maybe just attach into the mesh like this without attaching them to a specific bone should be fine so let's do this for both Now they are not rotating. Okay, but you can see when we go faster, there is a gap between these uh, these spheres. We need to avoid that in order to get accurate results. So what we can do is select these two, well width. Segment count, let's increase this a little bit. And speed, let's increase this as well. Yeah, now this is better. We have a continuous trail now. and okay now let's disable show debug shapes yeah i think this is better than what we had before and it's not necessary for us to use spheres if you want, you can use uh, cubes as well. So if you like, you can attach the same object to the front wheels, same trail object to the front wheels. So you will get a trail for the front wheels too. Okay, so I duplicated and added these uh, trail objects to front wheels as well. Here and here. Now we get four trails like this. So if I reverse, you see clearly. All right, so that's all I want to do in this episode. All right, so thanks for watching. As always, updated credit files will be available for download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments. See you in another episode. Goodbye.